So right now we're gonna hip y'all that don't know to the DC go-go rappers of the 80s, back in the day. Yeah, we're talking decades before Wale, Shy, Glizzy, and Logic. Corday, Fat Trail, and even long before Nonchalant. Back during that time, DC hadn't totally embraced hip-hop and rap yet because it was still all about the go-go. But slowly but surely, hip-hop gained its popularity and notoriety in the city, especially with the emergence of artists like Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick, Cool Mo D, Dana Dane, Biz Markie and Rob Bass, LL Cool J, Eric B and Rakim, Heavy D and Run DMC. So we're going to start out with the late, great Fat Rodney. May he rest in peace. It happened early this morning, just outside a roller rink in Prince George's County. Tonight, the search is on for the person who pulled the trigger. The new 7th reports the victim was well known among local music fans. He was called Rappin' Rodney, a lead performer in the group Rare Essence, a go-go band with thousands of teen fans. The beat kept you going, they made you want to dance. No matter when you heard it, you could be in a worse mood, and then when you hear it, just jump up and dance. 20-year-old Rodney Tyrone Martin was gunned down at 1 o'clock this morning in front of this Marlow Heights skating rink. A crowd of nearly 100 people were leaving when shots rang out from a parked car. Investigators say Martin may not have been the intended target. The band has cut three albums. This Marlow Heights record store can't keep enough in stock. Martin was slated for a concert tonight. Fans are shocked and kids scared. This happened at a favorite it's gathering scary, place. Kid. Investigators are looking for two men. They were driving a Toyota Nova painted with gray primer. Rassons would let people from the audience get on the mic and do their thing. Rodney got on the mic and the crowd went off. Fat Rodney, Stinky Dink. DC Scorpio, all that because they got on Ray Essence stage. And it was a whole trend. And Fat Rodney led that trend. So much love to Rodney as he paved the way for a lot of DC rappers that came afterwards. And this was his first record, Bustin' Out, that was produced by another late great, Chucky Thompson, and mixed by Monty. May the brothers rest in peace. Straight to the top. Here to make your body rock. Mix and go, go beat with the freaky deco. Hip hop rappers like basketball. The C's can't check me. Mad to me is broccoli and learn to respect me. Delicious rappers to try to misdirect me Put a quarter in the jukebox Push me and select me Girls that try to neglect me Now I'm rocking body, baby, so don't even sweat me I am the man, I pray I'm to understand My name is a rapper, a Rodney, rapping fast as I can I'm doing a little something and I'm out of sight I'm down with Gregory Hines and the Kendall White I want your pump up this around me Yo, it's like a monkey I'm down with Lamar and I'm down with a Chucky Doing a little something, waiting for in the studio, yo, he freestyling. I like the thing, never the post. It's why for Rodney, who else they got a double dose? You couldn't believe it. I'm one of a kind, rapping smooth and dead. Now be out my mind. All right, we're gonna go into this one by DC Scorpio, Stone Cold Hustler. Scorpio and Fat Rodney had these legendary rap battles. It was a friendly rivalry. A lot of people thought it was beef, but they were real strategic about getting people to come to the shows. And Scorpio was one of the first rappers out of the city to get a record deal. Back in April of 1987, DC Scorpio entered a rap contest judged by Dougie Fresh at the Chapter 3. A lot of us inspiring artists were there, but Scorpio came with that crazy energy, like a DC version of LL Cool J. Scorpio won the contest, and first prize was to open up for Dougie Fresh at the Capitol Center. And he performed this song, Stone Cold Hustler, which talked about street life and consequences. And then later, Ray Essence helped him record it and release it. A pioneer of DC rap. Check the message. Selling that stuff, if you had a real job, it wouldn't be so rough. The big gold sport, my last 
boxing is tough Gonna do big time when you get caught I'm telling you this because I'm your friend You can't wear big going in prison Run around town playing a hostile role Let the fast money take control of your soul Think you got it made with you wear ain't cheap Drive around BMW sobs and cheap Find you the blame, you can't explain Why you get locked up full of both cocaine You're a hot star Now this one right here is one of my favorite go-go rap joints of all time. Vinny D, $55 Motel. If you ever went to Triple's nightclub, you remember the hotel right next door. So the song is a true story about one of his stays up in the Stagecoach Inn. And was actually the first rap he ever wrote. So he can rap and he can sing. And he was signed by Snoop Dogg. It was on the Doggy Style All-Star album under Vinny Bernard. And long before Bad Boy Records, Diddy was one of his backup dancers when he was at Howard. Backstory on the course of the song, Byron from Rare Essence sampled Vinny D's voice. Use it in the same pattern, use the whistle on their PA tape. So this song came out during the time when Slick Rick and Dana Dane were on fire. And you can definitely hear that influence here on $55 Motel by Vinny D. Big shout out to the author Sidney Thomas that wrote the book Diamonds in the Raw, which goes into stories by Fat Rodney, DC Scorpio, Vinny D, as well as Stinky Dink, who we have coming up next. So make sure y'all check that out. Another one of my favorites, One Track Mind by Stinky Dink, the Riggedy Raw one. Shout out to my cousin D. Brown. Still gets played at the parties now like a new record. One Track Mind. This one was hot on the streets and hit the radio and then spread like wildfire. And as you can hear, Stinky Dink was very energetic and he was lyrical. He got a start in high school when one of his teachers recognized his talent and used to let him get up and perform his raps for the class. Some of his rhymes were so good that people thought he was just reciting some of the raps from some of their favorite artists on the radio. Stinky Dick says DC Scorpio was the pioneer of the DC go-go rap movement. But he thinks he was a little bit before his time. He said he was like the DC LL Cool J, but a lot of people in the city weren't ready for it yet. Cause like I said before, it was all about the go-go. But he said when Fat Rodney, aka Rappin' Rodney came along and he went on stage with Rare Essence and the crowd went off, he made it cool to rap. Special things going out to Horizon Productions, my man CJ, and my man Paul, my producers, C Music, and Big Mike, my partner in rhyme, Soldiers at War, my man Kato, my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my whole family, and I like to thank God. So right now we're going to go on to Chillin' at the Go-Go, 1988 by the Pretty Boys. Pretty Boys were on some LL Cool J, Big Daddy Kane for the ladies type of vibe. And if you went to any nightclub, cabaret, or house party in the DMV during this time, more than likely you're going to hear this one. And Conan from the AM station, WOL, had the only strictly go-go and rap radio show at the time. He used to play this in the show a couple times every night. With Vinny D, you heard the slick Rick and Dana Dane influence. Here is the MC Shan, Run DMC, back and forth interaction type of thing. Check it out. Is here. So I'ma do it right. Hop out the shower, dress, hop into my ride, throw in the bumper team. My head will side to side. Fire up. My hands turn my headlights on. My tires squeak when I leave. I won't be back till dawn. So I'm going to the go go. The place to be. The check out EU Benny. Chuck, Chuck, Yard, and RE. Get to the go go. And what do I see? Spins and beam machines and people staring at me. Cause my ride is bumping. They see my go time. And I can hear the beat thump while I'm standing in line. Wait, man. Ready to get in. Get to the front, pull out my bank, and give the man a fresh in. Walk in the door, then I can beat hit my face. Party people everywhere, my crew is in the place. Chillin' at the go-go. Chillin' at the go-go. What y'all say? Chillin' at the go-go. You wanna see us cookin'? Chillin' at the go-go. Chillin' at the go-go. Pump up the volume. Chillin' at the go-go. KDK. Chillin' at the go-go. Sexy C. Chillin' at the go-go. Come on, put your job. Begin to get the groove. After chillin' a while. Check. Can out the fine lady And the latest styles Like splash and beats kicking I'm feeling great Cameraman In the back taking, taking photos for eight Gather up my crew Yes, what deep as can be Got to have some death flicks Of me and my posse Saw some fly go-go ladies Grab one by the hand We all took a trip through go-go land Took one out on the floor And began to dance I couldn't help to look down At those two tight pants Having a real good time In the world of my own The beat takes me off the soul Leave me alone The bass is booming The people are moving I'll be here rocking Till the man out the room and start to sweep the floor. I'll stay all night and blow it down and go until the broad daylight. Chill. 
shout out to DJ Cool and Franksky and all the people at the East Side in Chapter 3, RSVP to Ibex, Fred at Sensations, the Classics Utopia Rhythms, Jill, Maestro RIP, Triples, the Panorama Room, Metro Club, and all the DMV DJs. So right about now, last but certainly not least, we got to get into this joint by the legendary DJ Cool, who we have to give the title of the godfather of DC Go-Go Rap, 1986, The Music Ain't Loud Enough. DJ Cool was known worldwide for his hit, Let Me Clear My Throat, and was inducted into the Hip Hop Hall of Fame Museum right here in D.C., along with Scarface of the Ghetto Boys. He was also the first artist in D.C. to drop a go-go rap joint. A lot of people in D.C. kind of frowned upon rap music back then, so this was something new and different and fresh. I remember this song being the first go-go rap joint to hit the radio, too, on the FM dial. WPGC had this one in rotation. Shout out to Alby D. Make sure y'all check out our interview with DJ Cool in its entirety. I'll leave the link in the description box. He talks about how he made this song, how he used one of EU, aka Experience Unlimited's beats, and how he records songs live at the club. He also talks about meeting Mike Tyson at Triple's nightclub and knowing what it feels like now to be hit by him. Also working with the legendary godfather of Go-Go, Mr. Chuck Brown, as well as Macho Man Randy Savage. May they both R.I.P. After about a decade on the independent grind, DJ Cool was picked up by Rick Rubin's label American Records, and one half of the Pretty Boys was actually picked up by Madonna's label Mavericks under Warner Brothers. We thank you all for watching the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We'll keep hitting you with some classic content. Peace.